Do you ever open a box of reads, but maybe two or three out of the 10 reads work? Well, in today's video, I'll be talking about how to balance your clarinet reads so that they respond evenly across all registers and provide a consistent tone quality. Hey, it's Juliana from Clarinet Note Studio, and welcome back to my channel. Balancing clarinet reads is an important aspect of clarinet playing that's not always the main focus in lessons. I think this is because it takes some time and practice to understand how to make adjustments that can really help with achieving a consistent tone. So why should you consider learning to balance your reads? Here are several reasons why balancing clarinet reads is essential. Number one, tone quality. So balancing clarinet reads ensures that each part of the reed vibrates evenly, contributing to a more beautiful and consistent tone. Two, the response. So properly balanced reeds respond more quickly and predictably to the player. This means you can articulate notes more precisely, which is crucial for playing fast passages or achieving dynamic contrast. And number three, ease of playing. A balanced reed is easier to play because it doesn't require excessive effort to produce a sound. This reduces fatigue and makes it more comfortable to play for extended periods. So what's the main goal and what are you looking for when balancing your clarinet reeds? So number one, you want equal resistance. You want the reed to offer consistent resistance when you're playing throughout the entire range of the instrument. This means that the reeds should not feel significantly harder or softer in different registers. Number two, tone quality. So balancing your reed aims to ensure that the reed produces a uniform and desirable tone quality across different notes and dynamics. And the goal is to avoid any abrupt changes in timbre or intonation. And number three, stability. A balanced reed is less likely to warp or crack depending on how much you play it, because it's subjected to uniform stress when played. This increases the reed's longevity. We're going to need some tools to balance your reed. So there's a bunch of reed tools you could buy, like a reed knife, reed geek, um, things like that. But honestly, if you use a piece of plexiglass like this, um, eighth of an inch thick, or a flat surface, um, some people like to use glass, and if you use, I like to use 600 grit um, a waterproof sandpaper. Um, and those basic items should work well for making adjustments. So before we begin, let's take a look at a diagram of a reed. A good basic rule of thumb is to not touch the heart, tip, spine of the reed. By working on the shoulders of the reeds, we're going to work on the thickest part of the reed and avoid taking off too much wood as we adjust the reeds. First, we're going to start with a simple play test by playing an open G and holding the note with the mouthpiece centered. Next, while sustaining the open G, turn the mouthpiece to the left and notice if it's easier or harder to play on that side. Then turn the mouthpiece to the right while still sustaining the open G and notice if it's easier or harder on that side. I'll put a clip in here demonstrating that technique. So I could tell from that test when I played center, it vibrated pretty well. And when I turned to the right, I had a lot of resistance. And then back to the left, it wasn't pulling too hard with resistance. So it was pretty balanced on the center and the left. But the right, when I twisted to the right, that's when it was the most resistant. So here's a good cheat sheet for you. If the reed responds best in the mouth, with the mouthpiece centered, then the reed is balanced. If it's still hard for the reed to vibrate while it's in the center, try sanding an equal amount of wood off of the right and left shoulders. If the reed vibrates better when you turn to the left, that means that the right side of the reed is vibrating freely and you'll want to sand, sand down the left shoulder of the reed to make the reed balanced. If you turn the reed to the right and it vibrates, better on the right, 
that means that the left side is vibrating freely and you'll want to sand down the right shoulder of the reed to make that reed more balanced. So now I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see how I make reed adjustments. And using my sandpaper and my plexiglass. Okay, here we are. We have the reed I just tested. And then here's my 600 grit sandpaper. And what I'm gonna do is just tear off a little piece of this. So maybe about this size, like this. And if you're uncomfortable making adjustments on your read and you're just new to this, what I always tell my students is to just take your pencil and just, you know, lightly pencil out the area you want to adjust. So I'm going to start with this. And the nice thing about using a pencil mark like this is that you just very lightly, you want to go back and forth holding the reed down like this. And then you want to avoid the heart, right? And then the tip. And just go back and forth like this. And you can see some of the um, pencil mark is coming off. I'm just going to continue doing this. And let's see. And from this point, I'm just going to test and see if the reed is better. So I'm just going to re-wet re the reed and do the same test. So it's still hard on the right. I'm going to have to take my wood off. Here we go. And it looks like I'm going over here, but the pressure I'm using is right over the shoulder. All right, let's test it. So it's still hard on the right. So I'll probably take a little bit more reed off or wood, wood off of the reed but it's getting a lot closer. After you're done making adjustments, put the reed back on the mouthpiece and run the same test. So you wanna play the open G, centered, then turn to your right, you can go back to center, and then turn to your left. Once you feel like you've comfortably adjusted your reed, consider the following factors when evaluating the reed's performance. So responsiveness, does the reed respond well across all registers? tone quality. Is the tone bright, dark, warm? Does it match your preferred sound? And you want to check for intonation. Are the notes in tune with each other? And you always want to check articulation. Can you articulate or tongue cleanly and control your staccato and legato passages? So remember that rebalancing requires patience and practice. It's important to make small adjustments and frequently test the read to avoid overcorrecting. Additionally, some players prefer to use reed brush or reed clipper to help maintain balance after the initial adjustments. I would just caution you if using a reed clipper, just don't use it too often because probably the worst thing you could do is take too much of the tip off of the reed. It just totally messes up the reed. Um, so experiment with different methods and find what works best for you and your clarinet setup. There are some other informative videos on YouTube that you might want to check out about reads. I'll also link some good PDFs for more information about balancing reads in the description box, as well as a resource on my website that goes with this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and you might also find these other read videos helpful.